Hi everybody and welcome to a little Splish Splash movie on how you can enhance your traditional uh, lures like uh, this one uh, by adding some uh, aluminum foil uh, and uh, making them even more uh, lifelike and uh, beautiful like uh, this one. Um, for this purpose I will use my, my own uh, the jerk, uh, the plastic jerk like this one but you can uh, use uh, any type of lures to do this. Um, but I'll use this one that I've made in, in one of my other movies. Uh, and apart from that, I have this uh, aluminum tape uh, that I'll be using to, uh, to create the effect. First of all, I've made this uh, little template for me to uh, to use to um, to cut out uh, a piece of uh, the aluminum tape. Um, this is made by just placing my my uh, my bait on top of a, a piece of uh, plastic uh, and then uh, draw around it so that I have a few millimeters all the way around the lure. And then I've cut out a piece that uh, that is. Uh, Positioned uh, right where the gill plate of uh, of my bait um, is, so I'll use this uh, to cut out an appropriate uh, piece of um, of um, tape here. And I'll just uh, put this one on the on the roll here and uh, take a marker and uh, draw around it like. this like that when you um, when you peel off uh, the aluminum tape try to to wrinkle it as uh, little as possible, as those wrinkles will just uh, you'll just have to even those out uh, later. So I'll just take this piece off like this, and then I will, as you can see, it's very sticky. Okay, and I'll just cut along the line here with the normal scissor. Like that. Now I've cut out my piece of um, aluminum foil here, so I'll grab some um, some metal net. Um, this is the, the the net I use for for uh, my painting uh, when I paint scales. Uh, but uh, you could use uh, any other metal net or even some uh, some fabric uh, mesh uh, to to do this. Uh, but this one is just giving me a very, very nice um, uh, pattern. Okay, and I'll just uh, lightly stick on my my aluminum foil to the to the mesh here, and then I will press down and press the aluminum into the the, the holes of the the mesh or of the net here. And as you can see, this will give me a very nice scale effect. like this and uh, I will avoid uh, making the scales on the other side of the the gill plate as uh, I'll just have to even those out uh, later um, if it doesn't really work with your finger you can use the, uh, an eraser or on a pencil like this one and just uh, use that to uh, to press down the, the foil into the the net here 
Well, after this, you will have to peel up off uh, the the foil here and and do it as gentle as you can, as uh, if you use too much force, you will uh, maybe uh, destroy the the, the fine uh, scale pattern you just made. So I'll just do it very easily like this one, and we're finished with that. And then I'll uh, I'll place this on top of my lure. As much in the center of it as possible. Like that. Okay. And then I'll just, as gentle as possible, start uh, bending the, the, the foil over the, the, the round edges. And... Uh, giving them the, the shape of the lure here. Uh, use as little force as possible as that will, will even out the, the scales here. And at the end you'll probably end up with some, um, some uh, very sharp um, overlays here. I'll, I'll cut some of that off to make sure that uh, the, the 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 foil is as close to as as uh, close to the the nose as possible and then in here. So well, I'll just um, try to even out all uh, edges around the the lure here with my nail first. But already looking better. You might notice the the, the lure uh, already had uh, some some imprints for eyes and gill plates. So I'll just press down on on the head here to uh, to transfer those um, those imprints to uh, my foil here, and um, then uh, I can use my nail or another uh, object to uh, to press down to those uh, more uh, uh, sharp corners here on on the, the imprints like this once again I can also use my eraser here. To make sure that the the aluminum foil is following the the imprints, and also use the to smoothen out the any uh, wrinkles in the in the foil here. Looking even better now. Okay, to to smoothen out the 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 edge of the, of the the foil here uh, along the the center line of the the lure, you can use uh, uh, a pencil like this one or um, or something uh, like the the marker here, and uh, just use that. As you want the uh, as little gap along the the line here as possible. So I'll just. Smoothen this out along the line. Okay, now I think it's fine. I'll um, I'll just do the other side, and um, when that is done, I will um, first of all uh, make sure that it is uh, cleansed uh, thoroughly. Uh, with some um, alcohol and um, so so I'm, I'm sure that that all the grease from my fingers and uh, maybe uh, uh, some um, parts of, the, of the, the the glue on on the on the tape uh, should be removed as well 
and then I'll have to give the, the whole lure its first layer of epoxy and I'll do this to, to seal off uh, the, the edges of the tape and to make sure that, that uh, you don't have a, a visible uh, bump where the, the tape ends uh, all along the, the, the center line here and uh, also it'll give me a, a much better uh, surface for the, the paint to stick to. So that is uh, what will be next. I'll just uh, finish this one. Another advantage of, of uh, this way of uh, enhancing your lure is that uh, if you have a, a rather featureless uh, lure like this one which has uh, no fins and nothing on it of, except the, the, the gill plates and the eye. You can actually um, uh, cut out uh, pieces of cardboard and, and, and uh, stick those to, to the lure. And then you can uh, use those to, to add some features to uh, the foil. And I'll just uh, show you how that's done. Um, so I've cut out, as you can see, cut out a little piece that will resemble a, a fin on, on this one. Um, and um, the rest of the process is pretty much the same and um, then again gently bend the, the foil around the lure okay so far everything is alike now as um, Somewhere in here my my uh, my fin is, and I know more or less where it is, so I'll just try to push down gently to see if I can uh, start seeing the, the edges of, uh, of the, the fin here. And it might not be visible to you, but it is uh, quite visible for me that the, where, the, where the, the fin is now. And once again, I'll, I'll use my nail and I'll run the nail along the, the edges of the, the fin. And trying not to, uh, to ruin the scale imprint uh, outside the, the fin here. So I can easily see where it is. And then I'll uh, use my nail or something else uh, to try to smoothen out those scales that are within the, the fin. I can even try to or push it uh, the right way to, to leave marks that actually will look make it look even more like a fin. Like this. Okay. So now I just um, I just added a fin to my lure that it wasn't there before. Okay, and if you even want to add uh, some some extra features uh, that without uh, anything um, uh, imprinted in, in behind, you can uh, you can also use a, 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 a pencil like this one, and I'll use this one to make some uh, even more lifelike fins here. like this and i'll also use it to make some uh, extra features on the gill plates here like this okay and um well now i think this one is um uh, it's ready um and i'll go on with the with the other side Well, the, the lures have had their first uh, layer of epoxy now and uh, all the edges uh, of the foil has been uh, sealed and uh, the, the lure is now uh, almost uh, totally smooth, uh, only a few scales can uh, be filled. Um, probably isn't uh, visible here on, um, on film, but um, well, they're looking very good and um, we are ready to start uh, painting. When you paint uh, foil lures, uh, you have to consider how to uh, make use of, of the nice shine of uh, the foil. Uh, and to do that, you will have to, uh, at least for part of the lure, avoid uh, using uh, 
um, solid colors, but use uh, something uh, transparent to uh, to make the the shine come through. Um, for these lures, I think I'll be uh, trying a, a perch imitation and uh, and also uh, maybe a, a goby imitation. So let's see how that turns out. <sighs> Well, I finished uh, painting uh, the lures and uh, put on some eyes and uh, gave them uh, some epoxy. Um, although I said I would be doing a, a, both a perch and some kind of a goby, I ended up uh, thinking that the goby wasn't really that shiny a fish, so, uh, so for this type of lure it wasn't really appropriate. So uh, apart from the, the, the perch, I ended up uh, doing a, a rainbow trout which is uh, which I'm actually quite pleased with um, as you can see um, both lures are looking very good nice and shiny and uh, this is giving them uh, quite a nice effect uh, to your lures um, at almost no cost uh, but a little time and um, it's also uh, making you uh, making it possible for you to to add some extra features so I won't include any um, test fishing um, in this movie. Uh, probably at some later point you will be able to see them work. I'm quite sure that they will catch uh, quite a lot of pike. 
so uh, well thanks for watching and uh, may be sure to to go to my facebook page and like that one as well as of course subscribe to this uh, channel so you can be um, informed of uh, future releases well thanks for watching and uh, see you later